Hi everyone, welcome to a new video on nautical mathematics and in this video we will learn how to find the great circle distance and the initial course angle between the two positions. So the question here says that the find the great circle distance and initial course angle between two positions A and B given to you. So the first thing you have to do is basically write down the two positions A and B as you see here. The next thing you have to do is basically find the d long between the two longitudes and how do we find the d long well look at the two longitudes if they are same names you would subtract one from the other if they are different names you would add one to the other so here one is west and the other one is east so i will be adding these two to find the d long or the difference in longitude between these two positions so how do i do that so 22 plus 17 is 39 minutes and 125 plus 175 is actually 300 degrees all right now d long or the difference in longitude between two longitudes cannot be greater than 180 that means we are not taking the shortest path so look at this here so this is these two positions are close to your anti-meridian of 180 degrees so 175 degrees 17 minutes east uh, would be here and 125 degrees 22 minutes west would be on your right hand side now you can see that if i have to go from 125 degrees west to 175 degrees east uh, this would be the shortest path across the anti-meridian so that means i am going in a westerly direction right but if i look at uh, the two positions that i have written above 125 degrees and 175 degrees so if i'm going from west to east i would ideally be going in a easterly fashion uh, which is not the shortest route that means i am taking the longer route i am going this way ac across the circumference of the earth and trying to reach the longitude from here which will take longer and involve more distance so what do i do in such cases so whenever my d long is more than 180 degree i will subtract the d long from 360 degree so in this case if i subtract it from 360 degree what do i get i get 21 minutes 359 so 59 degrees and 21 minutes and i reverse the notation from east to west i will reverse the notation from east to west because this would be the shortest path and i can see from the diagram itself that going westerly is shorter for me all right so having said that i have found out my d long all right the next thing you do is you look at the two latitudes the latitude of the higher value which in this case is south will determine the pole in the diagram so how do you draw the diagram now you know that you have to go from north to south but the south latitude is much higher in value so i will draw two positions i will draw a here because a is in the north right 32 degrees 10 minutes north 32 degrees 10 minutes north and 125 degrees 22 minutes west and i know i have to go in a westerly fashion but yet south southerly as well so i am going to go south here somewhere here b B is uh, 65 degrees 19 minutes south and 175 degrees 17 minutes east, right? And then I draw the diagram with respect to the south pole because the south pole is much higher or south latitude is higher in value. And I will draw arcs of great circle. I will not draw them as plain straight lines. I will draw them as arcs of great circle. All right, so south pole because the south latitude is of higher value i can also mark the equator somewhere because i am going across the equator zero degrees right so now the d long that i have found out for 59 degrees 21 minutes that d long is this angle p here 59 degree and 21 minutes that is the difference in the longitude you can see that the longitudes are originating from the pole and passing through the two positions so that's why the d long will be the angle contained between these two longitudes and that is 59 degrees and 21 minutes that is angle p in triangle p a b all right then we have p a what is p a p a will be so from pole to the equator from pole to the equator it's 90 degrees we all know that pole to the equator is 90 degrees and then from equator to a equator to a is the latitude of a which is 32 degrees and 10 minutes latitude of a right so what would be pa pa would be 90 degrees plus latitude of a or 90 degrees plus 32 degrees 10 minutes which is nothing but 122 degrees 10 minutes however pb pb 
so from the equator to the pole is 90 degrees from equator to latitude b is latitude b so equator to b is a latitude of b that is 30 65 degrees 19 minutes south so pb in this case pb would be 90 degrees minus latitude of b so 90 degrees minus 65 degrees 19 minutes would be equal to 24 degrees 41 minutes all right that is pb now you have pa pb and angle p we will use the cosine rule so cosine rule for spherical triangle says that either if you have three sides or if you have two sides and the angle included between it you can use it to find out the rest of the parameters of the triangle you can find out all the sides and angles so here you have the two sides pa and pb and you have the angle included between them that is angle p so you can use the cosine rule so how do you use our cosine rule uh, so we will be finding out the great circle distance the great circle distance is nothing but a b i need to find a b right so how do i do that so i will use the cosine rule so angle in question here is of course the included angle so that is cos p so cos p equals the cos of the side opposite to it which is a b minus cos of the remaining two sides which is p a and p b and then i will write the same two sides p a and p b but this time with a sine sine p a and sine p b all right now i need to find a b because i know the rest of it i know angle p i know p a p b i know all that so i am going to find the rest of it how do i do that i just transpose it so i have to isolate cos a b so what happens here so i will take sin p a multiplied by sin p b onto the other side of the equal to sign and make it multiplication with the cos of p all right so this is in a division relationship right now on the left hand side when it goes to the right hand side when it goes to the sorry this is on the right hand side is a division relationship when it goes to the left hand side it will become a multiplication relationship so we have cos of a b this time i'm just writing it on the left hand side minus cos p a and cos p b the numerator on the right hand side which equals to cos of p multiplied by sine of p a multiplied by sine of pb so when there is a multiplication sign we don't have to write multiplication between all the values but it is understood that there is a multiplication sign here the reason we don't do that it becomes too cluttered and very busy all right so then we will take this whole entity to the other side because we want to isolate ab ab is the one we don't know so cos of ab and this is in a subtraction relationship when it goes to the other side it becomes an addition relationship so cos p sine pa sine pb this is plus cos p a cos p b all right this is your unknown so you have isolated your unknown on the left hand side now simply put the values of the cos of p 59 degrees 21 minutes sine of p a which is 122 degrees 10 minutes simply have to put the value sine of p b which is 24 degree 41 minutes plus cos of p a again 122 degrees 10 minutes and cos of p b which is 24 degrees 41 minutes all right now i will be solving them in parts so i will first multiply cos of 59 degrees 21 minutes 59 degrees 21 minutes multiplied by sine of 122 degrees 10 minutes multiplied with sine of 24 degrees 41 minutes so what do i get once i multiply all this i get 0 0.18021 and then i will be multiplying cos 122 degrees 10 minutes multiplied by cos of 24 degree 41 minute and i get a negative a negative 0 0.4837 four four eight three seven four this is four eight three seven four so of course a positive and a negative would mean a negative so i will uh, subtract point one eight zero two one minus point four eight three seven four all right so plus and minus becomes minus so this is plus and this is minus so this will become a minus all right so a plus and a minus becomes a negative so this becomes a negative so this gives me a negative 0 0.30353 cos of ab then i press shift in my calculator and press cos so shift 
cos will give you a cos inverse put this value in the bracket 0 0.30353 so cos inverse of negative 0 0.30353 will give you ab equals 107.67 degrees or you can also write ab equals 107 degrees 40.2 minutes it's up to you but we don't want ab as a degree and minute we want it as a distance so 107.67 degrees so 1 degree equals 60 minutes so what is ab equal to ab is equal to 107.67 multiplied by 60 minutes multiplied by 60 will give me the distance of 6460.2 nautical miles that's the what i need so when i'm doing passage planning when i'm doing great circle distance and i'm doing great circle passage I need the distance in miles. I don't need it in degrees. All right. So if the captain asks me how much is the distance between A and B, I have to give it to him or her in nautical miles. So AB equals 107.67 degrees because it is an arc of a circle and we can measure arc of a circle in degrees, but we want it as a distance. So AB will be equal to 107.67 degrees or 6460.2 nautical miles. This is what I needed. It's a distance. It's a unit of distance. This is my answer. All right. The so now that I have found out AB, I can just write down the value here 107.67 degrees or 6460.2 nautical miles. Now the next thing I have to find out is my initial course. My initial course is can be found out by finding out A first. Now again, if I need to find out A, angle A, because this is the way my ship is going, right? This is the way my ship is going. So if I find out A, I will show you how to find the initial course angle. Now angle A in triangle PAB again can be found out using cosine rule because I know all the three sides now. So I will put angle A in question here. So angle A, angle A is cos of A equals to as per the cosine rule for spherical triangle, cos of the angle equals to the cos of the side opposite to it. So cos of the side opposite to it. So what is opposite cos A? Opposite cos A is PB, cos of PB minus the product of the other two sides so pa and cos of ab divided by by sin of pa and sin of ab all right so you have written cos of a equals cos of the angle opposite minus the cos of the remaining two sides divided by the same two sides that you have written later on comes down in the denominator but this time with a sign you know all these values just put all the values here cos of pb is nothing but 24 degree 41 minutes and cos of PA is 1 to 2 degrees 10 minutes, cos of AB is 107.67 degrees, then we have sine of 1 to 2 degrees 10 minutes and sine of 107.67 degrees. Alright, then just a matter of finding out the values. So let me just find these values out in stages. So what is cos of 24 degrees 41 minute? So it is 0.90863 minus what is cos of 122 degrees 10 minutes multiplied by cos of 107.67 degrees remember this is 107.67 degrees not 107 degrees 67 minutes you will get 0 0.16159 divided by what is sine of 122 degrees 10 minutes multiplied by sine of 107.67 degrees is equal to 0 0.80656 so let's sort it this out so let's sort out the numerator first 0 0.90863 minus 0 0.16159 gives me 0 0.74704 divided by 0 0.80656 so divided by 0 80656 which gives you 0 0.926205 so shift cos so cos inverse of 0 0.926205 shift cos inverse will give you 22 degrees 22 degrees so a equals 22 degrees or 22.15 degrees all right or you can also write it as 22 degrees 8.9 minutes 
it's up to you but this is not the course this is just the value of a now if you go back to the diagram and you look at the diagram this is what you have found out this is 22 degrees all right 22 degrees whatever is the value 22 degrees uh, 8.9 minutes right 22 degrees 8.9 minutes this is the value of the angle inside the triangle pab 22 degrees 8.9 right so this is very similar to what you would see so imagine this this is the south pole right and you have measured and you are going westerly so you have measured an angle going westerly this angle is 22 degrees 8.5 minutes or 8.9 minutes this is what you have measured this is angle a but that's not your true course what is your true course your true course is normally measured from the north pole isn't it it is measured from the north pole this the whole angle here is your true course it is measured clockwise from north pole so how can you measure out the true course so south is 180 degrees if you have gone 22 degrees 8.9 minutes so this course here will be 180 degrees plus 22.22 degrees 8.9 minutes which is nothing but 202 degrees 8.9 minutes that's your true course so your initial course angle or your initial course we normally round it off to a whole number but because we are working with maths here so we can say 202 degrees 8.9 minutes true course if you want to round it off just round it off to 202 degrees true that is your initial course angle so as you proceed from position a to b your initial course angle will be 202 degrees about southwesterly course all right so i hope this video was useful and helpful practice this question multiple times make sure you take up different scenarios watch the other examples on grade circle sailing in my channel and good luck with your studies bye for now